Hello, God bless you, a blessed Wednesday to you. We're gonna pray our rosary for Lent and remembering especially in the intercession of St. Joseph. I came in my dining room because the sun is still, I can still see it kind of coming in here. We're going to lose it pretty quick. But I thought that might help us have some better lighting. Oh, look at all these people. God bless you guys. So um, we're going to pray. And in between the mysteries, we're going to read some scriptures that are apropos to... Um, to the Sorrowful Mysteries. I'm going to take, they're just biblical um, verses, but I'm going to take them from my book, Out of the Darkness, because they're organized there very well for each of the mysteries. As always, we pray for the conversion of Russia and our big project in Russia and all the people I've contacted for different things all of the roadblocks we just ask the lord to fix right unblock and for the blocks that are up in poland and finding a vendor our books are translated they're available just finding a um, print on demand vendor so we pray for that we pray for pakistan and afghanistan nigeria uganda tanzania Ethiopia, the Cameroon, Zanzibar. We had a miraculous conversation with a priest I met in Zanzibar years ago who we were going to do a project with before I was with the, in the Middle East. And he's no longer there because he's planning to come to this place called Notre Dame University. <laughs> I said, I live 20 minutes from 25 minutes. So this fall, I'm going to meet this priest that I've been emailing from Zanzibar and we're gonna launch a project he he built a school for girls and Zanzibar is all Muslim with just small pockets of Christians and so we'll be able to really help these young girls in Zanzibar so that's fun all the other places in Africa that we're working in Colombia and Mexico Puerto Rico Brazil Belize, Guatemala, Peru, India, for the French and the Portuguese translations of the holiness of womanhood. And then here in the United States, I'm really asking for prayers for some bigger donations so that we can do another project to get my book about praying for priests and the relationship of Our Lady with Jesus, the eternal high priest and all priests. Um, to those in the cloistered convents. The sisters were so grateful for their house of gold and they pray so much for all of us. So it'll take about $2,000 to do that project. So we ask for $2,000 for the cloistered sisters so we can kind of get on that. 
and for all the needs of the Fiat Foundation and the Children of the Cross and this house of prayer of crucified love. We pray for this neighborhood that needs so many prayers for my neighbors that are moving, that good Catholics move in. We can start a black rosary. We pray for um, all the art and the podcasts and this rosary for protection and for all of the ministries that I am involved in, but that you are involved in as well for the orphanages. We pray for financial help for those who need it, for families struggling, for orphanages struggling. I know there are quite a few who ask for help. We pray for those looking for work, those needing for work, and those um, discerning schools for next year, for young people, those struggling in school, I'm thinking of people with different sicknesses and with social issues, and for those with dyslexia or learning disabilities. Um, we ask the Lord to help them. We ask all of our sick children to be healed. Baby Nora for Levi and Liam, for Charlie, for Colton, for Colette, for Cecilia, for Calvin, for Jonathan. We pray for George. We pray for Josephine, baby Josephine. We pray for abused and neglected and spiritually neglected and trafficked and abandoned and betrayed um, children and uh, women as well. We pray for Brianna and her baby. We pray for all of those in unexpected pregnancies, for pro-life legislation, and for people to teach others about the dignity of life, for politicians, for those in the hierarchy of the church. We pray for those with Alzheimer's and dementia, those with addictions and their caretakers. We pray for our families for any brokenness in any of our families, for unrepentance, unforgiveness. We pray for those who've left the church. We pray for the preservation of the faith for our young. We pray for all of the different intentions that any of us have on our hearts or that are written on these pages. We always remember priests. We pray for those who we work for and their needs those who have died and those who are dying, those in purgatory who need our prayers. And we pray in a special way for this mission book that I've been asked to write for the seminaries. Um, that God gives me really powerful grace, especially tonight and tomorrow as I go kind of deeper into it. I've got one chapter done and and ready to kind of hunker down. Pray for everyone during Lent to have their focus on heaven be re-situated. We pray for protection from all evil, both from evil spirits and from people who do not have goodwill. for all the different intentions, like I said, that either you or I have in our hearts, the Lord knows them, and we trust he's going to provide for us. We trust in the intercession of St. Joseph here. He does so much for us. He does so much for me. Today, he taught me how to use a drill. <laughs> My poor dad has to come over all the time, so I went to buy one and I did not understand. So my dad went back to Lowe's and he got me the simplest drill possible, but it is pretty complicated. And I learned how to put up some extra locks and take down some things, drilling holes. And I was laughing because I thought, you know, St. Joseph sometimes sends me people to help, but sometimes he has me do things I never thought were possible. Like construction. <laughs> so we thank him for that. And he's the patron saint of those looking for spouses, those longing to conceive. He's a patron saint of financial troubles. We think of anybody that might be struggling in their job to support their family. And like I said, for our Fiat Foundation needs. Um, he's a patron saint of purity for those who are struggling with that virtue. 
and we just ask him to be with us. Okay, here we go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings. For the praise of your holy name and the desires of your sacred heart and reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart and our final union with you in heaven, amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you. To show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, for the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them, for their physical and spiritual protection, for their intentions, for humility and integrity, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, mercy, justice, and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen, for an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen, for an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we're going to pray the Sorrowful Mysteries with St. Joseph here. And the first Sorrowful Mystery is the agony in the garden. And my heart is always turned to Joseph in the agony because just as the apostles fell asleep, like we'll hear, and Jesus agonized, Joseph never left his son alone at night. How many sleepless nights did he spend adoring, praying, comforting, guiding, fleeing into Egypt? He was so faithful, and that memory of Joseph had to have been at the forefront of Christ's mind, that longing for his um, earthly father when he felt abandoned by God the Father. So we ask St. Joseph to help us be as faithful to Christ as he was. Jesus said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer saying, My Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. And to strengthen him, an angel from heaven appeared to him. He was in such agony and prayed so fervently that his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. Jesus said, I am troubled now, yet what should I say? 
Father, save me from this hour, but it was for this purpose that I came. And then Jesus, knowing everything that was going to happen to him, went out to the soldiers and said to them, Whom are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus, the Nazarene. He said to them, I am. Judas, his betrayer, was also with them. When he said, I am, they turned away and fell to the ground. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied with a large crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one, arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its scabbard. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father gave me? In this mystery, we ask St. Joseph for his intercession that we can always be faithful to Christ, that we can be a memory and a source of comfort to him as he was. St. Joseph, renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the holy family, pray for us. The agony in the garden. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is a scourging at the pillar. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter or a sheep before the shears, he was silent and opened not his mouth. Some began to spit on him and blindfolded him and struck him and said to him, prophesy. And the guards greeted him with blows. But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God, whether you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him in reply, you have said so, but I tell you from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. He questioned him, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, you said so. But Jesus did not answer him one word, so the governor was greatly amazed. They said, if you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question, you will not respond. He questioned him at length, and Jesus gave him no further answer. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I have spoken publicly to the world. I have always taught in a synagogue or in a temple area where all the Jews gather, and in secret I have said nothing. Why ask me? Ask those who heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the temple guards standing there struck Jesus and said, Is this the way you enter? answer the high priest? Jesus said to him, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Pilate asked Jesus, where are you from? Jesus did not answer him. So Pilate said, do you not speak to me? Do you not know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, you would have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. For this reason, the one who has handed me over to you has the greater sin. So Pilate went back to the praetorium and summoned Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and priests handed you over to me. What have you done? But Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, So are you a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. And then Pilate took Jesus and he said, therefore I shall have him flogged. And he had Jesus scourged. That he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. And by his stripes we were healed. Our eyes and our hearts turn to St. Joseph who cared for the first wound of Christ, which was at the circumcision. And we think about the abhorrence he would have had to see his son shredded and defiled. In this mystery, we ask St. Joseph to help us when we're put on trial unjustly, to help us honor the blood of Christ and to live worthy of his sacrifice. 
Saint Joseph, most just, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most merciful, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most humble, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most chaste and modest and pure, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most prudent and wise, pray for us. The scourging, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Oops, Russian. Radusia Maria. Blagada ti polnaya. Gaspod staboyo. Blagoslavia na tinejde jonami. I blagoslavia plod shereva tvajevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas grešni, nini i v čas mirti naši, amen, Polish. Strovaš Maria, vaski pełna pan s tebou. Bogoslavionaš ti mienze nevestami i bogoslavioni ovo čevota tvejego Jezus. Šventa Maria, Matka Boža, mūrlše za nami křešnimi, teraz i v godzina i šmirti naši, amen, Spanish. Dios te salve, María, llena de este gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fruttus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radu sia Maria, blagada ti polnaya gespod staboi. Blagoslavia na ti nejde žanami, i blagoslavia in plečereva, tvajevo Isus. Svetaja Maria, mater boža, molisa nas grešni, nini v čas smerti naši. Amen. Polish. Strovaš Marija vaski pauna pan s tabo. Boga slavjona štinjen za nevastami i Boga slavjoni ovo čevota tvajego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšešnimi. Teraz i v godina i šmerči naši amen spaniš. Dios te salve Marija, jena res te gracija, el Senjor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta, fraladone, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi peccadori adesso, nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, 
The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. When the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him, they stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. When they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. It was preparation day for the Passover, and it was about noon, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king. They proclaimed, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Pilate had an inscription written and put on the cross. It said, This is Jesus, the Nazarene, the king of the Jews. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. Then after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Pilate again said to them in reply, What do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they only shouted louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted, so he released the man who had been imprisoned for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. When Pilate heard once more, Pilate went out and said to them, Look, I'm bringing him out to you so that you may know I find no guilt in him. Jesus came out wearing a crown of thorns and a purple cloak. He said to them, Behold the man. And when the chief priests and the guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourself and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. Consequently, Pilate tried to release him. But the Jews cried out, if you release him, you're no friend of Caesar. Everyone who makes himself a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and seated him on the judge's bench in the place called Stone Pavement, in Hebrew, Gabbatha. And he said to the Jews, behold your king. They cried out, take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar, and they handed him over to be crucified. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men hide their faces, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. Oppressed and condemned, he was taken away. Who would have thought any more of his destiny? when he was cut off from the land of the living and smitten for the sins of his people. The crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of them as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted, we had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. So they took Jesus, carrying the cross himself. He went out to what is called the place of the skull in Hebrew, Golgotha. And Jesus said, whoever wishes to come after me, must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. A grave was assigned him among the wicked and a burial place with evildoers, though he had done no wrong nor spoken any falsehood, but the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. But you, Lord my God, in your great mercy, rescue me. 
for I am sorely in need. My heart is pierced within me. Like a lengthening shadow, I near my end, all but swept away like the locust. My knees totter from fasting. My flesh is wasted away. I have become a mockery to them. When they see me, they shake their heads. But Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own, and I have the power to lay it down and the power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon, and this man they pressed into service to carry his cross. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, that the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall on us and to the hills cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it's dry? If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in the fullness of days. Though his, through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear, because he surrendered himself to death and was counted among the wicked. He shall take away the sins of many and when pardoned for their offenses. In this mystery of the carrying of the cross, we remember how St. Joseph, when he was alive, provided everything Jesus needed. He carried every cross that Christ encountered as a child. For him. In fact, he probably taught Christ the best way to carry a large piece of wood. They were carpenters. And so once again, Joseph's or Jesus' mind, his memory had to have turned back to St. Joseph as the cross splintered on his back along the way. In this mystery, we pray that we may have the virtue that Joseph had to be strong and humble and faithful in carrying our crosses along with Jesus Christ. Saint Joseph, most humble and faithful, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most meek, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most strong and courageous, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most gentle and compassionate, pray for us. Saint Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. The carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboy. Blagoslavian na tim jež dežonami i blagoslavian plod čreva tvajevo Isus, svetaja Marija, Mater Božja, mali se nas grešni, nini i včas smirti naši, amen, Polish, strovaš Marija vaski pauna pan s tabom, bogoslavio naš tim jenze nevestami i bogoslavio ni ovoč života tvajego Jezus, Shventa Maria Matka Boja Mudal Shazanami Kshishnimi, Terasif Gojina Ishmer Jinashi Amen Spanish. Dios te salve Maria y en eres de gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores 
ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus teca. Benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radius ia Maria, blagada ti polna ia gaspod staboye, blagaslavia in natin iesh de jonami, i blagaslavia in plod shereva tvaevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas Krishni, Nini if chas mirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, Waski Palma, Panstava, Bogaswavio nashtinians and Avastami, I Bogaswavio ni avot shavota tvaego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Murl shizanami kshishnimi, Teras if gojina ishmirti nashi amen, Spanish. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra la donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo Signor Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto. Sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord. First, Jesus is stripped of his garments, but I am a worm, hardly human, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me, they curl their lips and jeer. They shake their head at me, saying, you relied on the Lord. Let him deliver you if he loves you. Let him rescue you. They stare at me and gloat. They divide my garments amongst them, and for my clothing they cast lots. They divided Jesus' garments by casting lots, and the people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him. They took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top down. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it will be, in order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled. Who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death 
even death on the cross. Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. Jesus is nailed. Like water, my life drains away and all my bones grow soft. My heart has become like wax and it melts away within me. As dry as a pot shirt is my throat, my tongue sticks to my palate. You lay me in the dust of death. Many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in on me. So wasted are my hands and feet that I can count all my bones. They crucified him and then they sat down to keep watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads, saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you're the Son of God. Come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. When they came to the place of the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. Thomas said, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands and bring your hand and put it in my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believe. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. And then Jesus offers mercy from the cross. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. And then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. And the other, however, rebuked him and said in reply, Have you no fear of God? You are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been justly conde condemned, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Standing by the cross of Jesus where his mother his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his home. And then Jesus thirsts. How long, O Lord, will you utterly forget me? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I carry my sorrow in my soul, grief in my heart day after day? After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. And Jesus said to the thirsty, I will give a gift from the spring of life-giving water. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemek sebektani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out, 
Some of the bystanders who heard it said, look, he's calling Elijah. Jesus said, the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. And then Jesus dies on the cross. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. And Jesus said, the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I'm lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. It was about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down in the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond a doubt. When all of the people who had gathered for the spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, gave up his spirit, and behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from the top to the bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised, and coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to man. The centurion and the men with him who were keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. They said, truly this was the Son of God. He was in the world and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. The word was made flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father has taught me. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over his spirit. And a voice came from heaven and said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order is passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Now since it was preparation day in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. This happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage saying, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. Come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds. Every tear, every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And then Jesus took the bread, set it, the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. Likewise, the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup of the new covenant in my blood will be shed for you. The crucifixion and death of our Lord. In this mystery, we ask St. Joseph to stand at the foot of the cross and to present all of our intentions.
to Jesus crucified. St. Joseph, mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of the home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. 
O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain all they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray for the souls that have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all our holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim and the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, the preaching of apostles, the faith of confessors, and the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, 
from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics, and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ, to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence and infestation and plague, drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, jealousy and competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me, so that there may come to me instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Jesus Christ in every ear, eye that sees me. Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity. Through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph's holy cloak and a consecration to him. O glorious patriarch Saint Joseph, you who were chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, I beseech you to accept me within the folds of your holy cloak that you may become the guardian and custodian of my body and soul. From this moment on, I choose you as my father and brother, protector and defender, counselor and guide, patron and provider. And I beseech you to place in your custody my body, mind, heart, soul, emotions, and memory, past, present, and future, my family and relationships, my home, my property, my neighborhood, my possessions, my finances, my needs, my work, my ministry, the Fiat Foundation, the children of the cross, my vocation, all that I am, all that I possess, my life and my death. Look upon me as one of your children and defend me from the treachery of my enemies, both visible and invisible. Assist me at all times in my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of my life and especially at the hour of my death. Say but one word for me to the divine Redeemer, whom you were deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me among all those who are most dear to you, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of your special patronage. O glorious patriarch, patron of the church, virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, guardian and virgin and father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father and guardian, my protector and defender, my provider and my guide. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your Holy House. Present me to your Immaculate Spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as your child. With her pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O oh, my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary. I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my family, relationships, home, possessions, finances, work, ministry, vocation, and all of my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity 
for all eternity. Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. And all of the souls in purgatory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.